You know, the reason why people go broke is because they don't budget for the tough times or those losses. Yes, sir. This is the reason, same reason why we don't succeed because we don't budget for the haters, right? Yes, yeah, we don't. So you have to budget for that. Like, of course. Like, expect that they're going to be there. It's part of the journey. It's not holding you back from the journey. No. It is the journey. It's part of your journey. What's going on, everybody? My name is Carlo Balagasse. I'm Christian Alvarez. And you are listening to Behind the Strength, Strength Podcast. Podcast. Today we're going to be speaking about haters. There's the one that's, 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 they're your friend. Yep. They're your friend. And or you, family. Or family. Or there's somebody in your social circle. And you, you speak about anybody, this is anybody you can speak about your, your, uh, you know, goals, your things that you, you, you're, you're shooting to inspire for. Or anything like uh, when you speak about a little bit of you know of an accomplishment that you just had. I I guess yeah, haters actually just appear when you try to make any sort of movement. Really, or anything like that, or yeah. when you when 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 others take notice into the fact that you're succeeding or that you're doing well with yourself. Um, and that's what I mean by succeeding. You're doing something with yourself, with your life. You've got the momentum going. Whether it's you're trying to change your body. You're trying to change, you know, your life. You're starting a business. You're starting a new job. You're starting a new family. A new relationship. A new relationship. There's going to be yeah. naysayers out there. There's going to be ones that don't quite believe in you. And there's going to be ones that will make it a point to hate on you. Yeah. So the first kind I want to speak about is the same one I was talking about. You, you may, they may be in your social circle. Yeah. You could be talking to them regularly about your life and things that are going on. The, all the great things that are generally going on with your life. Yep. Now, they'll sit here and, and, and take it in, and they'll hear it, but the moment you turn around, I'm there talking smack to everybody else about you and how you're not really going to succeed, and things are never really going to happen for you. Yeah, the frenemy, pretty much. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, the frenemy. That's, wow. that's, that's what they're saying. Because you're so good these days in these terms, these eh? Oh, <laughs> the, shoot. The frenemy. Don't do it. Okay. <laughs> The frenemy. Wow. Okay, I learned a new term today. That's yeah, awesome. Man. Oh, that's, yeah. Damn. You know, they're, they're, they're saying that online now. <laughs> frenemy. Oh, cool. I'm going to use that. Yeah, I'm frenemy. Use, that'll make me cool immediately. So, <laughs> yeah, man. So, these are the people, like, you know, everybody has them. Um, you know, they may be your boys, your girls, whatever. Usually, the people are closest to you because here's the thing. And, and I think, you know, again, looking, self-reflecting and stuff like that. Because I think... They've been with you for such a long period of time. They've been with you when you're a complete moron sometimes. When yes. you, you know, you didn't follow through. You talk a lot of shit. Yep. Um, you know, you, you weren't the person, consistently you weren't the person who you want to be. We understand that in the type of society we have, I'm not saying that generally everybody is good or bad, but the people will gear towards anybody that, that trajects at the same level as them. Well, that's it too, right? So if, if yeah. I like to, you know, if I'm a person that just likes to coast along and cruise along life, and I'm okay with my standards that, that, that I'm living with, and anybody else who thinks that, hey, you know, I'm going to try and get one up, not necessarily on you, but I'm going to try and get one up on me, and I'm going to try and do things better. Maybe get a higher income paying job. Maybe, you know, live at a, at a bigger place that will be more suited to my lifestyle. Generally, somebody, a hater is going to perceive that as you're trying to get up one up on me. Yeah. It's almost like it becomes a personalized thing. Yeah. Yeah. They're so right? they're so engulfed in like everything in context to what's happening to them. To like, them. Like you're taking away from them or you know, it's it's a it's a jab at them or it's you know, it's making them feel uncomfortable about that stuff. Especially with you know, with a friend of me because they're so close to you. Yeah, I mean these are people that you you know, they they're gonna give you perhaps a little bit of praise or a little pat on the back. In yeah, they'll, of, they'll, they'll, they'll show give, up, they'll, they'll show up, they'll show up sometimes, yes. they might even go to the gym with you one time when, yeah. you're, when you're trying to lose weight. Yeah, but they'll also <laughs> give you a lot of backhanded comments like, hey, you lost five pounds, that's great, not bad for a fat guy. Yeah, well, you know? yeah, exactly, <laughs> right? What kind of a compliment oh, is that? Why don't we just go, you know, why don't we just end this now and go to freaking the bar and just, just you know, yeah. we know, you know, you know up, we're going to end up You know where we're going to end up at the bar anyway, Yeah, yeah, yeah right? Yeah. Or, 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 or the nearest KFC, so why don't we just, we might as well just head straight there instead of the gym. Yes. So they're yeah. going to make all kinds of comments to you. And I can't necessarily say you can blame them for that because, again, it's something that they've been um, kind of wired to happen because they're used to seeing you and the people in their environment not succeed or, again, traject at life in the same uh, path, wavelength and pathway as them. Yeah. Which means that a minimal, um, let me just post, let me just get by with minimal effort. 
And so anybody that gives a little bit more effort, it, it, they're going to give a bit of resistance to. Yeah, of course. Right. You know, remember, like when we were um, starting this business, you know, there's there's a lot of we made a lot of people uncomfortable. Right? Yes, for sure. Of we course, made a lot of people uncomfortable, and and it was obvious. It was very obvious. That's why we still don't hang out with a lot of people these days. Still don't, man. Actually, a lot less now than we ever did. <laughs> well, yeah. I love it that way. To be <laughs> honest with you. Now, right, the the ni- the next one, the sabotager. Ooh. Right. The, these are the ones. Um, you gotta watch these ones, by the way. Who they're very subtle, but they give you these little jabs of like doubt. They they plant seeds of doubt all the time. Now, here's an example. So Carlo tells me he's on his way, well on his way to to you know losing his twenty pounds of of, Whoa, of body fat. What are you trying to say, man? Um, that was not a backhanded comment. Whoa, 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 hey, friend of me. Hey, remember There's a motherfucking to, friend of me up in here. Remember <laughs> when you used to work out at 8 a.m. Yeah, morning? Yeah, I know. Like six months ago? Yeah. So that, that could be an example of friend of me Yeah. Yeah. Um, but the sabotager, generally, you got to watch these people, eh? Because though they don't necessarily mentally take up a lot of your time, um, they will eventually, because of the little things they'll implant in your head. Yeah. They'll tell you constantly, hey, you know what? You're not doing too bad at all, right? Or, or they'll, they'll, they'll be like, you know what? Yeah, like how far do you really get, expect to go with this new project of yours? Yeah. With this new business of yours? Like, like do you really want to do that? Or, or the best ones like, oh, you need, you need balance though, right? You, you should always have time oh, for Oh, that's your, a massive but, one. Right? You should always have time for, oh, don't work too hard. Oh, no, this, this is my favorite. Oh, yeah, but I mean, money's not everything. Like what? The Money's not everything. Yes. I, yo, you know how many times right. I've heard that well, shit. Of course, I'm like, of course. Or you wh- gotta wait, live. You gotta live a little. Like, why but, are you always on a diet or or working out? Yeah, that's yeah, another you, one. You gotta, oh, yeah, you, gotta you gotta live a little. I I I enjoy it's my summer. food. I'm I enjoy <laughs> I enjoy my drinking, my patio days. So that you know, oh. nothing's gonna stop me. That oh, I yeah, I just live your life. Oh, I'm sorry, but do you enjoy feeling like shit every single meal that you have? Because I don't. I, do you enjoy gasping for air walking up the stairs? Because I don't. So <laughs> when we say be aware of these type of, um, I guess, uh, the sabotage sort of person is because they might plant things in your head and they may not necessarily take up much of your actual physical time. But what ends up happening is those little jabs and comments, if you don't learn how to brush them off, they literally stay with you and now you start to doubt yourself. Especially yeah. during the times of when you're going at your strongest and when you're, or, or even at the times of your weakest, you're going to start to doubt yourself even more. That stuff can pile up. So you got to so, watch a sabotage. I mean, for me, that, um, what I always envision, because I always have like mental, you know, visions of a lot of things. Um, when the more doubt and fear that you allow people to, you know, put on you, it's like putting more weight when you're trying to do a sled push, right? Every little comment that you allow to, to kind of affect you is another weight on you, another weight on you, another weight on you. And until eventually you just burn the fuck out, right? Like, you know, that's why it's so important to not let these seeds of doubt ever, ever put, um, you know, stick to you. Because 99.9% of the time, it's, it's their reflection of their doubts. It's their reflection of their insecurities that or they're trying to, to, yeah, to make because, things happen because everybody life. like, listen, man, I don't want you to, to be super fit because I'm a fat ass. Of course. I want my, I want you to hang out with me because yeah, I'm a fat to, ass. Yeah, and I want you to have a similar, yeah. well, me, I don't want you getting any I more wait. attention or any, yeah. any, you know, further in life than I am. Right. Because my insecurities or my laziness is, you know, for, we're using fitness as an example, because this is a very, you know, common thing in the fitness industry or people who want to get fit. Uh, we, we see that every single day. You know, people are trying to hold you back because of their inability to do something. Yes. Um, and that's a big fear that they have to deal with on their own. So you can't allow that to kind of, you know, degrade your kind of success. Right. And don't feel bad for these people. You can't feel bad for them because, you know, it, it's either like save yourself or you both die. Right. Yeah. It, that's yeah. the way I see it. Yeah. Like, you know, if they're not willing to get on board, yo, too bad. Yeah. You know, um, and you can't allow it. So n- a number of things don't allow these like these sabotagers. You have to identify them right away. They're not doing most of the time. It's not really out of malice, it's out of insecurities. And that's how you kind of have to see it. Right. Yeah. Now we want to look at another ver- uh, another type of hater. There's the the one upper. So oh, the yeah. one upper is the person, uh, you know, if you tell them, hey, I, I did this this week, you know, I, I lost man like five pounds this week or the, or this last month. 
So you'd be like, oh, that's great. Oh, but I know. I, I lost 10 pounds. So, you know, nothing big, but it's like they always have to one up on you. you and, know, I, and it's subtle too sometimes. It's subtle. I, oh, I, did you see my new vehicle? Like, I just got a brand new vehicle. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, your new Honda. Yeah, yeah. So I have a BMW that's being delivered to my door tomorrow. Yeah, it's, it's always yeah, no like, big deal, though. you know. But you, I know, yeah, you did get a new Honda. You're right. Or a new. You know, it, it, they're always trying to one yeah. up you with better. Not that say that you know Honda is any less than of a vehicle than a vehicle, but they're always trying to compare themselves to you. And whether it is you've lost three, well, they guess what? They lost six pounds all of a sudden. Yep. You gained a pound of muscle. Well, guess what? I gained five pounds of muscle. You increased your revenues by ten thousand this month. They increased it by twenty. By twenty. Or there's, there, there's another there. big deal that they're going to close that's going to dwarf whatever success that you, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. But. And this happens especially a lot in business, man. I've noticed, like, you know, when people, when we talk about business, because it always comes up, um, oh, what do you do and stuff like that, right? That's a common conversation. One thousand percent. Which is pretty weird to me, but and yeah. So, what do you do? Oh, I own a business, but oh yeah, and then they own a business then, that's fucking huge the too. The one that I like, always hear about is the <laughs> many businesses they own. Yeah. All of a sudden, now they're this diversified entrepreneur yeah. who owns multiple businesses like the Richard Branson. I'm sure you came across this. So you tell him, you know, you, you humbly say, hey, I'm an entrepreneur. Uh, you know, we have a therapy and a, and a fitness and a therapy business uh, that's been integrated. We've been up since 2011. We've been up for seven years. Uh, and all of a sudden, they're like, oh, but I have this project. Oh, and then I got this. And then I got this business and that business. And, oh, we do like, a, you know, a million each in each business. And, Okay. Okay, but remember, man. you asked me what like, we do. Yeah, I never asked you shit. Yeah. <laughs> like, like, um, like, I want to know what drink you're having. Like, very, let's, very let's talk about life. Very not common. That stuff. It's, it's always a one up thing. And the thing is with these people, is they're so accustomed to doing it, they're so used to doing it in every aspect of their life. It starts from childhood. Mind you, a lot of this thing, these things start from childhood, as we yeah. know. Yeah. Right? Uh, that they don't even know they're doing it anymore. No, yeah. It's you can so tell them they're doing it later on, and they'll be like, what are you talking about? I never do that. I'm always happy for you whenever you do, do new things and get new things and stuff like that, and I'm always happy for you when you accomplish new goals. <laughs> but I don't do that. They don't realize that they're doing it. Yeah, yeah. Again, it's, it's uh, self-awareness, right? These people lack it a lot, um, and it's huge insecurity, especially that one. Like, what is, it, what is the point of even mentioning anything that you've done when somebody mentions something that they've done. Right? Yeah, like, what's the significance? What, what's the significance? What's the point of that? Especially when it comes up in a random conversation. You know, what is wrong with, you know, being a fan of your friends succeeding? What is 100%. wrong with that? What is, like, why, why can't you, like, embrace be that and be ha- happy someone. and help? Yeah, help and, them. And, and, or, or, or learn from them. Like, learn from them, right? This, like, this, that's the only reason I'm sitting here today is because, remember, when you were starting this business, I was helping you. Yeah. Like, that's exactly what happened. Yeah, yeah. Like, I was like, dude, what do you need? For me, yeah. I was like, yo, I'm going to learn from this guy who's, who has a business. I never, I don't know anybody who has a business. Right. So I'm like, and yo, I, let and, me try to learn from this dude. Yeah, and then I, and then <laughs> I said to myself, well, I don't know how to build a place. Um, let me learn from you. Yeah. Right? You how know, do you build so we how learn do you from each other. Place? Yeah. Uh, so, we, yeah, it's the same way. But now, you don't get that very often. That's no. a very special relation. Like, people don't get that yeah. very often. And, and that's... That's, you know, stars being aligned, luck, everything, everything that happens, right? So, um, but, want, but, but you could go a lot further in life if you actually start applying that principle. Just, yo, be, help people. There's the you one know? mentality that what they call, it's called the crab mentality. It's something that my parents have always talked about. And it's, it's like crabs in a bucket, right? Filipino One's about mentality. to get out. There you go. <laughs> The island mentality. Th- no, it's a, well, no. it's a, it's a, it's a third world every, mentality. I think it's a third world mentality, right? It's a right? third world mentality. Of course, you know that, Why right? Why would I want you to get out any further than me? Yeah. If I'm, if you're about to get out this bucket and I'm not, hell no, I'm taking your ass down with me. Yeah, We're both going to hell together. That's that colonial shit, man. That, that is. You know, we, we, it's been ingrained in us. Like, that is. By the way, people don't know this, but Filipinos are slaves too, man. So we've experienced, like, we've, it's deep, deep you know, rooted in this But shit. you know where that mentality is? That's called inner slavery these days. That's what I'm saying. Slavery yeah. has been abolished for hundreds of thousands. Of years. The only slavery that exists now is the slavery that's in your head. It's because yeah. you still feel that way. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's, that's inner slavery right there. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And deep down root. So now we want, to, we want to talk about, I, I personally like this one, the real hater. Now Me this, too. Me too. The, I, I, I respect these people because they can blatantly and in your face or in front of you say, I don't want you to, su- to succeed. I don't think you will. 
And there's my standpoint. I don't, I don't like you as a person either. Yeah, I like that. That's cool, man. I, I, love, I love that. I don't have to be for you. <laughs> That's like, I respect you, man. Yeah, I respect you dude, for telling me that. Dude, cool. You, you think I'm a piece of shit? Thank you. At least you're telling me I'm a piece of shit. Yeah, at least you're at telling least... us that you we're not going to succeed and you're not going to do well. And yeah. I don't believe in what you're doing. That's not, not a problem. Perfect. I cool. love it. At least you're not showing up for shit acting like you care. Yeah, and you know, in, in your Muay Thai or Judo days, if I'm coming off constantly to chop off your head, you're not going to take me any less than that. No. So you'd think that everybody that's going to come at you is going to come at you like that. You're going to learn how to defend yourself and fight like somebody's always chopping your head off. Yeah, because they're authentic, right? Like, they're, they're not holding yeah, back. I'm going to rip you. You need yeah. that in your life, though. You man. do. You need that in you your do. life. You need like, people I to, come after to you. try to come after you sometimes to check you, too. Yeah. Right? You know, this sometimes is, you actually need to be checked, though. Guys, you know? Yeah, and that's, <laughs> you know, this can come in a, a workplace, in an office place. L- listen, there's, let's just say 10 of you in your department at work, and there's only one managerial position that's available, one supervisor position. Man, you don't think there's going to be the ones coming after your head. There's going to be the ones that's going to give you the photo of confidence. That's going to say, hey, go for it. But telling everybody, oh, fuck, that guy will never do well in that yeah. position. Yeah. Right? Yeah. There's going to be the ones that's, 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 that's going to be uh, sabotaging. Say, do you really think you can lead that team? You know? Um, are there's going to be ones, you know, oh, I managed like two, three other places before I even got to this job. So I, that's a guarantee that, you know, you're not even going to make it there. Yeah. You're going to come off. So this, this applies to everybody. Believe it or not, no matter what stage in your life you're at, what sta- you know, what you're currently doing, or you're up to, you're always going to come across one of these people. Yes, absolutely. Now, we're here today to just speak about what to do with these people and how to deal with it, right? The next portion is basically um, what, what happens generally with these people? What do, how do we take, like, how do we handle this shit, man? So, for me, a lot of, like, the first thing I would do is address it head on. Yes. That's... That's it, like straight up. Okay. Like that's the first thing. If you if you were openly hit, for for instance, if you were silently jabbing at me all the time, but yo, Christian, what the hell, man? Like, what is this little animosity that I'm, I'm getting from you? Like, what what is the problem, dude? Right? I'm I'm obviously trying to improve my life. There's something that you don't agree with, or else you wouldn't be saying these things. What is it, man? Like, how can I help you kind of get on the same level? Because I want I want to be, you know, I want you to be a champion too, dude. I want to. I want to be a fan of you. I want to be a fan of your success. So, what is what is it that that's rubbing you the wrong way that I'm doing? Now, I love this approach, um, and Carlo and I both love this one because we like to speak to people head on. We like yeah. to take things head on. The, the 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 thing is, you're probably saying, "I'm not that type of person. I'm not very combative. I'm not very. Um, I don't like to to to, to kind of approach people in that manner." Now, you have to remember that simply what it is is a conversation. Yes, And this does not have to be a tactical thing or this doesn't have to be uh, an attacking sort of manner. It's all in how you say it and what you say essentially at the end of the day. I think, I think that you hit a key point there because a lot of friendships are ruined because of that shit. It's like you're, you internalize it so you much. Inter- it's yes. such a – it's building up. It's building up. It's building up. Oh, Christian should know that he shouldn't be talking that way or – when it could really just have a conver- you could really just have a quick conversation. I think the biggest thing for a lot of what stems from a lot of issues is people internalize things so much. Yes, with relationships. With everything. relationship. Everything. When I say relationship, it means your coworker relationship, your working relationship, your 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 you know your your marriage. It could be your friendship. It could be anybody. Um, your manager, your you know employee relationship. Now. It, it, when people internalize, what they do is they start to create an inner animosity. Yep. They start to act towards you in a certain way that is hateful or that is, that is just uh, totally against everything. So now everything you say, I'm just going to combat against it. Well, yeah. Now everything you say, for going back to example, if you're always jabbing me, everything you're going to say now to me is like, oh, jab. oh, this guy's jabbing at me hard now. Like you might, you might just like, you know, you might be writing a different story for your friend, you know. Um, and sometimes... And sometimes, a lot of times, actually, it was actually a, a, you know, your friend or your coworker or your family member was going through something at the moment, and they that's just unrelated you know, to you. That's unrelated to you, and they said some shit, you know, that yeah, okay, they j- jab at you, but you know, and that was it, right? And then you held on to that moment so much that you now You've added to devaluing that. Yeah, you have a story. You have this narrative now that Christians after me. 
oh, I have to stay away from that guy, blah, blah, blah. Now you're going to start talking shit about your friend or your family member. And then you become actually the hater, right? So yeah, you become, you, watch you are becoming the person you didn't want to be. And th- I see this all the time. Like uh, conversations with people like, oh, this person, but yeah, but you're talking shit too, dude. Yep. Like, why are you yep. talking shit? Like, yep. stop talking shit about somebody who isn't here. Why don't you deal with it, right? Now, I want to talk about, um, now, there are going to be people in your life that will be sincere and genuine and say, hey, Carl, let me pull you aside. Now, the way your approach has been, let's just say, example, for the team lately has rubbed people in the wrong way. You know, we might want to pro- take this approach a little bit differently. If they're taking at you, if they're coming at you, or say, hey, you know what? Your fitness plan hasn't been working out quite well. You've been quite stagnant the last few weeks. We haven't dropped a pound in the last four. Maybe we need to take a different approach or a different diet. This is constructive. Yes. You have to learn to differentiate between negative feedback, the bullshit, and actual constructive criticism. Yes. Right? So that's, that's an important fact, guys. Yeah. You do. Because there's going to be people who genuinely want to see you succeed. And they're telling you something that, hey, open your eyes. Because yeah. things aren't happening for you the way you think they are. Or it could greatly and drastically improve if you tried these things. Yes. Right? Now... If, if it's purely on a negative side effect and there's nothing that's constructive towards it and there's not, they don't give you any better suggestions or ideas, that might be a little bit more negative feedback. Yeah, then maybe that's just a hater. Yeah. But, you know, being, being mature enough to, to really just take it in and be like, oh, wait, this person is actually trying to help me. Yeah. Um, you know, the person is not just a hater, quote unquote hater. I, I am an asshole and I'm an asshole to a lot of people and this person is telling me that. I may need to improve that. You know, a big But it thing, takes a certain level of maturity though for that one. Yes. So, which, which brings me to say, you know, it, you, you were right in saying and don't get so attached to what people say to you on a regular basis or even on a daily basis. If somebody says, hey, uh, you're looking a little heavier today. Or, hey, you're looking a little small today. All the jack guys hate that. You're looking a little small today. <laughs> yeah. Man, it could be the fucking t-shirt I'm wearing. It could have been like, I went five hours. <laughs> That's a friend of me. <laughs> um, you know, I could have been five hours without a meal and I haven't ate anything. Hence why I look deflated. You know, so don't take everything that people say. But again, that, t- that comes with years of knowing yourself. And, 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 and not getting attached to what people say. It's really how to receive feedback from people. Now, feedback, I say, whether they give it to you intentionally or not. Yes. Feedback is anything where I may say, hey, how you doing this morning? Your feedback would be like, uh. Yeah. No, that's not a very good feedback for no. me. It's how I receive that feedback is what it's going to turn to afterwards. Yes. Now, absolutely. if you were to say back, hey, man, Christian, I had a great weekend. How was yours, dude? Good morning. No, that feedback is fucking amazing. So, obviously, I'm going to take that a little bit more. Yes. So, it's how we receive feedback from people. And what we do after that feedback is very, very important. Hence, why not to attach yourself into little comments or the little things that may just, you know, maybe be a little pesty in a day, right? Yeah, absolutely. Um, secondly, I think being good with your intentions first and being authentic. If, you're, if your intentions are actually good, say you're trying to improve your life, you don't want, you know, you want to remove you know, the alcohol in your life, the fat, like the bad fats, eating like shit, um, you know, you want to sleep better. Did you look at my diary this morning? <laughs> <laughs> no, but like, you know, if, you're, if your intentions are good, you want, you know, you want to open a business or you're running a business to help people in your life, um, you know, you, you want to financially succeed so you could help more people. Um, if your anybody, intention if your be. intention is good, then who gives a shit what anybody says yes. at that point? Yes. Because anybody could say anything about you. Remember, Jesus had haters, and he was <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ had haters. And you Jesus ain't. Jesus is the most popular listen. guy in the world right now. No? And and if Jesus got haters, man, you are gonna get haters. Yes. All right. Yeah. You ain't perfect. Yeah. You you ain't you ain't the son of the Lord. You know. So and the uh, funny, you know, you say that you know with the good intention and. And when we say with good intention, meaning when you're trying to say lose weight, you're generally trying to have a good intention. I want to feel better. I want to look better. I want to function better. Yeah. I want my mind to be sharper. I want my, you know, my body to be leaner so I can do more things and last longer and not get injured. Um, and, 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 you know, to add to that, when we say good intention, 
you know, at this point, you ask me what, the, what life is about. It's really about what you do for others. Your most fulfillment is going to come from how much value do you provide or how much value are you to others in your life. So in being the fittest form of yourself or being the best form of yourself or when you're trying to, say, open up a business to help uh, people to get better in fitness yeah. or to make sure that people don't, people's cars run smoothly, yeah. right, so that they're not leaking oil or doing this, your intention is generally good. Man, you are going to attract that. Love begets love. Hate begets hate. Yes. Yeah. If your intentions are ill-willed and it's, I, I'm going I'm to open up my mechanic shop beside Carlo because I want to trump his business down. And I want to make sure that he doesn't succeed. Do you think I'm going to succeed? Come at me, bro. Do you think I'm going to succeed? Probably not. Nope. Number one, most <laughs> of my efforts and my energy is going to be spent on making sure he doesn't succeed. So yeah. how much effort am I going to have in, in the positive aspect of growing myself? Exactly. Exactly. Right? I mean, that, that's what I'm saying. That, that hater energy, if you allow it to transfer onto you, it, it holds you back. It's friction. You don't, you know, you have to remove friction from your life, and that's friction. part of it. That is. I like, I like that term, friction. Yeah, it's all friction. It's, it's, it's the message that you're sending out there. You know, and Carlos, right? It's, it's what are you attracting to others, right? Like, what message are you sending out there? Hey, like, for all you people who post on Instagram about your bodies, what's your intention? Is your intention to say that like, I look better than 99.9% .9 of the fucking population? Or if you're flashing cars and money and this... I'm richer than 99% of the population. If that's your intent, you're not going very far. Believe me, you're going to be an overnight success. If, but if your intent is, yeah. we have this business that serves you and it can help you find a house. It can help you find, you know, the best mechanic out there or the best plumber out there or we can provide you with the best fitness service for your liking out there, then yeah, you're going to grow. Be grateful for the haters. This is how you deal with them. Be grateful. You do. Because here's the thing. But man. that takes a lot of maturity. It does. My but man. That, that, so it does. If you are stagnant in your life and there's no friction at all that's happening, you should be worried because you are dying. Yes. All right? If there, like, when you move, when you're in a bathtub and you get out, there's going to be ripples, right? There's going to be water that kind of on the floor, there's going to be waves and, and water's going to spill everywhere if you get out fast, right? The faster you get out. That's exactly what's happening. It's the law of the universe. There's a ripple effect when everything that, every, everything that you do has a ripple effect. Yes, there's, now there's a, you know, there's, there's a, in, in different realms, there's like, there's, there's the positive effect of things, you know? Hey, if there's a hurricane, it's bad for us, right? You know, for ocean life, that's actually a fantastic thing. It gets things moving. Yeah. Right? Exactly. So, Mother Nature didn't intend, or things in the world don't happen to you, personally. It's not meant for you. Or, you just happen to be part of the cause and effect. Now, depending on how you take that cause and effect is, is really what, what comes after that. You, you have to be perfectly okay, I say, with the term, not, you're, I'm not for everyone. Yeah. You're exactly. not for everyone. No. CrossFit isn't for everyone. Strength in you is not for Strength everyone. Strength in you isn't for everyone. No. Uh, not, uh, not everybody wants to go to Muay Thai and get hit. Nope. Or go to boxing and get here. Go to Brazil and just to get your arm yanked on by some <laughs> kid. They don't. And that's not for everybody. You know, I talk to people all the time. Man, the benefits of Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, what it's done for me mentally, emotionally, physically, spiritually, fitness, this, that, the other. And they're like, yeah, but look at all the injuries you've attained since then. Perfect. Look what it's done for me mentally and spiritually in helping me to get over those things. And what it's done for me physically to develop other parts of my fitness where I never would have focused before because a limb was taken away from me. Or well, yeah. a part of my body was taken. So it's in how you take things. And, and for example, like, I love chocolate ice cream and I know crazy motherfuckers who don't. I don't really care for it. See? And it's not for weird. everybody. That's weird to I me. I like chocolate cake. That's weird to me, right? And but I don't care right? for the ice cream. So there you go. Like I really don't like. Some people might not. Go out and he'll be like out of his way. He'll be like, but I gotta get ice cream after a meal. <laughs> and I'm like, let's just get a double espresso and call it a day, man. You See, know, so crazy mother. He needs his coffee with his ice cream with his, you know. So it's it's, so, it's crazy though. But but there you go. Like you know, sometimes people will just disagree on something. Regardless if there's malice behind or not, like you, you, who cares, right? So they're going to disagree. You're gonna, you know, ruffle some feathers. Like it's maybe, maybe me wanting to lose 20 pounds and going to the gym all the time, you know, 
it sent a ripple effect to Christian. Now he's he's checking himself like, fuck, should I do it too? Yeah. And a lot of times that's what it, happens. It does happen. It's happened with us personally. Yeah, it's like, shit, man. Fuck, don't eat brown rice, bro. What are you doing? Like, yeah. yo, you're eating healthy? Yeah. Come on, man. Yo, let's go out to get some fried chicken. Yeah, it's easier. Right? So it's starting to, like, that ripple effect now starts checking your friends around you, the people around you, and it's it, they're, it's sending doubt in them that they should be, or sh- they should, you know, go do something as well. So, you know, their kind of reply, or that hater-ish reply, is so kind of, you, you slow down. I was like, yo, yo, slow down real quick. You're making me feel uncomfortable now. So, you know, that's, but you have to use that as fuel right? Use that as fuel. You have to take and embrace it because you're doing something right. If you're not doing anything and everyone's just like, you're the person that everyone's like, oh, it's okay. You're great. You're doing, like, that means you ain't doing shit. Yes. And that means you're, you're stagnant. It means you're yeah. dying. You're, you're actually reversing. Nobody is going to hate on someone who's reversing. You got to <laughs> like, you know, you got to flip that meaning. If, if it's I love you it though. Have, Dude, I love it. The more you have, the more you're succeeding. The better you're getting yeah. every year, the more you're succeeding. And the more these people are hating on you, Man, it's that's a good sign. Nike has a bunch of haters. Haters, wannabes. Does that mean that it's a bad thing? No. no, no. That means you're fucking succeeding. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's and that's perfectly okay. Um, so you, you know, gotta be big, okay with it. You got I like I thrive in it. I love when people hate on our shit. I love when people hate on me. It's you know, like dude, keep keep it coming. I love it. Because it, it fuels me, man. I love I, I love competition. I love it when people talk shit. Because a I'm gonna use it as fuel. Because like I so I'm self aware, right? I I know what drives me. Yes. I'm very competitive. Yes. I love it when people talk shit. So it actually pushes me forward. I don't like it when people p- pay me compliments. I don't like it when things are great all the time. Mm-hmm. Like I like chaos. It, mm-hmm. it, it, you know, it, it, I don't know why it's weird, but I guess it's because we've been in it for so long that, that it's like, oh, it feels weird we not to what have friction it. Is. Maybe that's it. like, but but that's that's the thing. When you start your car, there you, you know there there's some shit ha- explodes to get things. Yeah, moving. combustion has to happen, right? For it to- you know, once you're on a, a you know when you get off that nicely paved road and you're you're trying to create something there's going to be rocks there's going to be dirt there's going to be shit a thousand percent you know there's gonna be shit that's going to hit you that you're unexpected and that's the exciting part though man like the more you get the, the more love you get the it's, it's a lot of universe right sure. the more love and and praise and respect you get you're also there's, gonna there's, gonna, the there's gonna be ripple. a lot of people because sometimes it's not about you so sometimes it's about all the attention that you're getting because you're doing something, you're moving forward, all the compliments. It's like the family party where, like, you know, the cousin or the always gets, oh, my God, you did this, this, and this, and you're just like, fuck this guy. Yeah. Right? It's like, ah, I, I didn't do shit. Yeah, I didn't, so, I didn't get any, one praise from right? the local. So it's, so it's sometimes it's that. It's like, you know, it's, it's your collateral damage pretty yeah, much, right? Sure. Because, every, because you're doing something. And, you're, and by the way, it's like a lot of times people get hit on because they're, they're like, yo, you're, you're just doing things right. You know? And that's okay. You have to be perfectly okay with that. Yeah. So you do. Somewhere deep down, the more you, you, you tend to, to you know, increase your trajectory in life and, and the way you're doing things um, you know, become much more efficient and your life becomes that much, it starts to open up for you, the more you're going to attract both kinds of people, the good and the bad. Right, learning how to weed them or, or to 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 weed one and the other and to differentiate is a huge thing. But another thing is you have to be okay with having both. You can't have you can't can't take the good without the bad without the ugly guys. It, yeah. it has to come together. Yeah. Which brings me to another point of it's you have to remember at the end of the day it's not about you. It's about to them. It's about them. So don't let their insecurities become your insecurities at the end of the day. Because every time he drops, let's just say this frenemy of mine drops a little hint of animosity towards me, and I let it bother me, and I let, I let those things succumb me in my mind and my life, then, then I'm letting essentially the insecurities of that person become mine now. Yep. And you do not want to do that. Yeah. You have to remember that you can't control the way everybody feels. You can't control the way they, uh, you know, how they feel about you. What you can control is how you feel and how you feel about your everyday life and yourself. That's, that's the real thing to control. Stop trying to control the feelings of everybody around you or how they feel even towards you. Don't give a shit if, 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 if they like you or not. There are people that are going to like you. There are people that are going to hate on you. 
and some are going to be transparent, some are not. Yeah. Right? But you can only control how you, you yourself are. And another thing, too, is like, uh, so one more point is I just focus on, um, you know, people who actually like me, right? The, the good relationships I have, the people who are positive, the people who try to push me forward, the ones who, who, who um, you know, the ones who don't hate on me, right? The ones who so actually, actually give me positive. put your energy into the people that give you positive effect, Yeah, because right? here's the thing, man. Like, yo, this world, like, your day, especially our day, it, it's, it's all over the place sometimes, right? Like, mm-hmm. we do so much. And, and yeah, I came from an hour of uh, an hour of sales development this morning. It was crazy, right? And and there's only a finite amount of attention and energy that you're able to give the people around you. Um, and we have so many positive and amazing people around us that I don't want to waste it on you know these negative people. I agree at all. Like I, I've been a master, and it, it was hard for me it, personally at first to kind of cut people off or or you know distance myself because I don't really. There's certain, there's, there's categories, right? There's certain tiers mm-hmm. that you put people in, right? There's obviously the ones that who are very toxic and you just had to let them go kind of thing. Like, okay, I, I cut that off. There, and there's some that you, you kind of, you know, keep in the distance and some that you actually, you know, want to keep close. Yep. So, you know, the amount of people who are close to us who, you know, who th- help thrive that energy and, and, you know, harness that good energy to propel us forward there is no room at all to focus on anybody no, on the later no, tiers you at all, room in that. No, right? No. So to to focus on that is just very detrimental for me. It's a waste of my time. Yes, right. And I value my time now. Like I, course, I can't 1000%. give my energy at all to anything. I value my than. energy, my time. I agree, man. So maybe that's it too. Value your time. Value your energy. Value the people around you who will benefit from the good energy and who reciprocates good energy and that's the biggest thing is you got to silence the biggest hater of them of, of of them all that's yourself yes and when, when i say that when we say that that means you got to silent silence the self-doubt the little insecurities the ones that tell you the the voice that tells you that you can't do something or or the mental capacity part that tells you or gives you every reason not to do something yeah. Uh, why not to go to do your workout today or the gym today? Why not to get up and make those 50 phone calls to receive new leads? Why not to get up and, 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 and go to your boss and approach him for, for a promotion? Yeah. I those mean, things that are inside you, that's the biggest hater of them all. You have to learn to silence that and not only silence it, but to take it, control it, and harness it into a positive effect so that it creates a momentum for you that attracts all the right things you want. You know, sometimes it's crazy that you have all these doubts and all these thoughts in your head. You're essentially hating yourself. And maybe that's why you're so angry at other people who are hating on you because you're afraid that they might be right. Yeah, they might be you right. Know? And that's the biggest thing that you have to kind of get over. Like that, yes, A, you are enough. B, you're not perfect. And see, it doesn't matter how you were yesterday. Today, you're a little bit better. You're a fraction better, and fraction that's, better, and incrementally that's the better. best part about that journey, this journey. I mean, we can all relate to the fact that we're on a journey in life here, right? Uh, some of you still think you're getting to a destination. Sure, that's okay too. <laughs> um, but the, the, the best part is, is uh, are you going to approach that destination or that journey and you're going to enjoy it? Or are you going to spend all your time and your efforts into energy into the things that aren't beneficial to you? The ones that are going to allow you to miss all the great moments uh, that, that come your way. The ones that, you know, or, or the, are you going to spend your time on the feelings, feeling the feelings that allow you to feel down on yourself. And you're going to miss all the great things that are happening and all the lessons that are happening consistently. Yeah. You know, whether or not, hey, this week I lost a pound. Next week I didn't lose a pound. What did I learn from this week, right? Yeah. You know, don't miss out on all those good things. So, yeah, stop down. Like, the, the self-hate, man. Like, oh, I'm not good enough. Or I'm too fat for this. I'm, you know what? Never mind. Or, you know, I'm, I'm not smart enough to do this. You know, I, I, I hear that a lot. Like, I'm, I don't have what it takes to, to be like you, man. I'm like, um, yeah, you do. You just you need patience. That's what you need. You know, do this. We're going to leave you off with this. There's a lot that we gave you just in this, you know, time alone. But I promise you, just spend the first thing, from the first thing he said was check yourself. Yeah. I promise you, you go, you sit somewhere, today, tonight, do it immediately. Look at yourself. Look at all the things in life that you're into, that you want to do, that you're, 
doing right now and think, are my goals, my actions, and my intentions, are they aligned? If they are not, then believe me, you have a roadmap that you have to kind of reconfigure out. If they are aligned, then know that you know and be good in knowing that you are in the right, right path. Yes. But I promise you, if you even just check yourself and figure out where you're currently at in every aspect, where you want to get to, and are your actions and your intentions are aligned, only then will you actually start to succeed. And not only that, but be happy with the success you have, whether you have positive or negative people around you. Amen, man. And, and also what I like, I want to conclude with is like, you know, the reason why people go broke is because they don't budget for the tough times or those losses. Yes, sir. This is the reason, same reason why we don't succeed because we don't budget for the haters, right? Yes, yeah, we don't. So you have to budget for that. Of like, course. Like, expect that they're going to be there. It's part of the journey. It's not holding you back from the journey. No. It is the journey. It's part of your journey. You know, when you, when you work out, you're going to feel muscle pain sometimes. Yes. You're going to feel exhausted. That's part of your journey. Yes. It's not you wondering if you should keep going. Yeah, fuck yeah, keep going, man. If, if you are holding yourself back or, or playing small or not going all in because you're afraid of what people are going to say or people are going to hate on you, you are doing yourself a big disservice. You are not going to live your life to the full potential or you're not going to even be happy at all. Happiness starts with being good with yourself, being good with people and having honest and authentic um, interactions with people and moving forward in an honest and, and authentic way. That's it. As long as you check those boxes, man, who gives a shit what anybody else is saying? As yes, long as you're sir. not hurting anybody, as long as you're not hurting yourself mentally, um, you know, and being authentic yourself and be playing all out. Who, who, what is there? To, what else is what there, else to there to do? Who cares? Who gives a shit? Lose, yeah. Who gives a shit? Yeah. At the just end do of it, guys. Just do it, man. It, it, like like he said, just do it. Just and do it, it. like if if there are two people on this earth that you, who will, who have got hating on so much, literally all the time, for helping people succeed and and trying to put people in a position to, to win. To succeed, is, yeah. To succeed is us two. And who never asked for shit back is us two. And we still keep doing this shit. So... We do it because we love it. We do it because it's... Yeah. To us, it's, we, we, feel, we feel like we're successful every time we're there for somebody. Yeah. And if you're hating on us, keep watching. But you're not getting on the two of us. <laughs> Have a great day. I'm Christian Alvarez. I'm Carlo Balagasi. And this is Behind, Behind the, the strength. strength. Make sure you share it with a friend. Uh, share this podcast. Um, keep like listening. It. Like it. Follow it. Follow it. Um, spread you know, it. Spread the good word. Spread it as far as you can because you know we're trying to make things happen for a lot of people. Um, we were doing. We do this for with our internal group, and you know we feel that you know there's a lot of people who benefit from what we have to say, uh, especially in the the state of the internet right now. We're gonna. You know, there's there's. We definitely need to find that give that balance of what real shit is about how what real success is about um, and not that fake shit. Yeah, so. so if you have any comments, any questions, feel free to email us at bts at strengthu.com. Awesome. That's B-T as in Tom, S as in Sally at strengthu.com. Awesome. All right, have, have a, a good day. Have a great day, guys. Cheers.